I guess uh, the question I have is, what do you see as the trends here? Um, what do you see happening in your work? Um, has your view changed over the past year? We need the treatment. We need a different type of care. Mm -hmm. And we need the insurances to back us up on this. This is not, this is not the heroin of 10 years ago. This is not even the heroin of five years ago. This is a different type of opiate. It's synthetic. There's fentanyl and carfentanyl. When you're getting addicted to this type of strength of drug, it changes everything. In terms of um, access to care, we don't have um, treatment on demand. We don't, we have, I work with people that come into my office and they need treatment and they're ready for treatment then, turned away, can't get into treatment. And I'll use a, an example of someone that's no longer with us who was interested in treatment because couldn't get into treatment at that point. So, you know, that gets diminished too with a lack of funding. If we continue to frame the problem in terms of individuals, ignore the fact that our communities itself are broken, if we keep putting money, um, what limited dollars we may have, even if we say all of that cut goes into effect, I still think that the funds that are available, if they're used more wisely, and if the insurance companies realize that it is more uh, financially feasible for them to place their money into a different way of treating these situations. I think we'll get a lot more bang for our buck. I think we'll have prevention. I think we'll have intervention. I think we'll have a different way of approaching this whole thing. Everyone in this room knows that the status quo is unacceptable for our community. So there's only two things. If we all continue to do what we're doing and fight for the dollars to George's point that are getting sh in shorter supply, we'll continue to do our job and we will continue to volunteer, but we'll struggle more than we're struggling right now. Just because we're paying attention to it and making little trend betterments, not acceptable to this community. We want to knock this one over the fence. The statistics, the numbers you see, each one of those is a life. Each one of those has a family mother, father, brothers, sisters. It affects everybody, not just that one person. Um, my officers go out on the street every night and they deal with this every day. That's why we're at the table with this group, because this is the group of people who care. And I think working together with this group, we can do a lot better than we've done in the past. And I'll invite you, if you want to come out and experience this first thing, come out for a ride along one afternoon, one night, when it gets a little bit warmer out. And you can see what my officers do firsthand on the street. Give us okay. a call, we'll make the arrangement any day of the week. Sure. I think you're right that the status quo is unacceptable. We're losing lives. It, whatever we're doing right now, even though each of you is doing the very best you can, if you look at the numbers overall, if you look at the lives lost, the people who are not with us right now, it's not working as well as we think it has to do. I really want to thank all of you for the work that, that you're doing, because you are saving lives. Limited resources, not as many as we would like, but you are saving a lot of lives. And I was remind I should have begun there, but thank you for, for making that point, uh, Lieutenant, because, you know, we are actually, some of this stuff is working, but we just have to scale it up. We have to do more of it. And that's what I hope the proposal will do. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.